Hello everybody, once again it is time for bad fanfiction. Now since last week's video, XX Moonlight XX has updated Eva Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but I think it's about time we give them a bit of space. So today we are moving on to Two Knots, which is a Yu Yu Hakusho fanfiction written by ff.net user I hate using usernames. Uh, I've not actually read through this one properly, I skimmed it a little bit. So do forgive me if I trip up, because I'm going to. Chapter 1, Untitled The wind blew all around, she could see nothing but black space, she didn't know if she was looking up or down, only that she was in mid-air maybe? There was nothing solid to hold or to feel. A cold gust came from below her, moving upwards, that must be up, she determined. How long have I been here, she thought to herself. Pain of loneliness filled her chest. Her chest. There was a light now. She looked down and then back up. There were two lights. The once dark room was filling with light, and the wind became softer, playful with her hair. Where do I go now? She looked down to try and find herself, finding a red string. That wasn't there, was it? Questioning herself, she looked up with the wind, still blowing upwards, almost pushing her up. The string continued there. I guess I'll go up then. Something was calling her, but what was it? I guess I'll find out soon enough. That was her last thought before being consumed by the light, but she could still feel the wind that seemed to follow her. Elizabeth's eyes start to creep open, the light from the room filled she senses. Ah, did I hit my head on something? She asked out loud, while holding our head, only to find there was no one but her in the room. What the? She was so confused, this room was traditional Japanese or something Asian layout. Only reason she knew this was because the hours spent in front of her laptop, watching anime and reading manga. Well, that's what started our love of the culture. Not long after she had woke up, a little ice apparition walked in the room. Ah, anato wa dono yo ni kanjite mi osamashite iru? The blue-haired girl had spoken quietly, but loud enough for Elizabeth to hear her. Huh? Now startled, Elizabeth shot right up, looking in the direction of the newcomer in the room. Pardon, but what did you say? Anata wo dono yo ni kanjite imasu ka? The young blue-haired girl waited for a response, but only received a blank look on Elizabeth's face. Anata ga nihongo o hanasu shite imasu ka? She had asked something different, but both girls just stared at one another, hoping one would come up with a solution. Elizabeth's attention was drawn first to the young girl's bright blue hair while she stood in the doorway, the warm light from outside on her back lighting her face perfectly. If only I had my camera, she thought. She was wearing a light blue kimono, quite plain, but on her looked so, what's the word, cute. The girl in front of her was downright adorable. Go, Yosha. The girl spoke again, always in a friendly tone Elizabeth had noticed. Snapping her back from daydreaming, finally noticed she has red eyes. Most likely a cosplayer or something was her first thought. I should say something, but what the fudge do I say? She can't understand me. Heh, <laughs> I could say something mean and she wouldn't understand a word I'm saying. Damn, I'm spacing off again. Um, hello there, with a small wave with her hands. My name is Elizabeth, nice to meet you. While saying her name, Elizabeth had pointed to herself. Elizabeth? The young girl tilted her hair slightly to the side. Yes, my name is Elizabeth, this time saying her name slower, hoping the other girl would understand. This had made the girl in the doorway smile slightly. Damn, she is so cute. She had started to walk in and sat next to her bed. Was it a bed? Think the things these things futons. Yukina. The blue-haired girl spoke softly as she had pointed at herself. I guess that's her name. This had made Elizabeth smile in turn. It's lovely to meet you, Yukina. Elizabeth spoke with a large smile on her face and bowed her head slightly. She believed this was the right way to greet this girl. Feeling relieved, they were getting somewhere. Mata, hajimemashite? The young wait, Yukina, had bowed slightly also. Think this is going quite well now, wuh? Before she could finish her thought, there was a knock on the sliding door. For a second, both girls saw a silhouette of another people, but quickly were able to avert a face, the shadows. Another blue-haired girl walk in, beaming a smile on her face. Oh bloody hell. <clears throat> Soko ni konnichiwa, watashi wa kino anata o hirota toki ni tsukare miete anata ga yoku ne negatsu. 
She spoke first louder than Yukina did, but just as friendly, well a tad more friendly. Hada sat down next to the other girl, I think they're friends. Ohayou gozaimasu, Botan. Yukina spoke first to her friends, so Botan is her name, huh? Ohayou gozaimasu, Yukina-chan. Dono yo ni watashi... Watashi tachi no atarashi gesudo o yatte iru? Botan spoke so full of energy. Kanojo wa watashi ga omo ni Kanojo wa shikashi Nihon o rikai shite inaish seijo ni hyoji sa reta imas. Botan seems a little confused now. Wait, are they talking about me? Both blue hair girls weren't smiling like they were a minute, but that didn't last so long for Botan. Where are you from? Botan had said, while putting her hand on Elizabeth's shoulder. This had earned a look of confusion from the Brit. Wait, you speak English? Elizabeth was just able to stutter it out her mouth, still with bug eyes and her mouth hanging slightly open. Oh, bless. I do apologise for my butchered interpretation of a dramatic reading of this story by... Uh, oh, what was their name again? I hate choosing usernames. <laughs> do keep sending in your suggestions, I'll pick a new story every week from now on. I hope you enjoyed, I hope I don't get into trouble. <laughs> Thank you and I'll see you next week.